Lerato, the Animal Whisperer. Once upon a time, there was an orphaned little girl named Lerato. She was eight years old, but still couldn't speak. She had never said a single word to anyone in the village. The reason for her mutism was the feeling of being alone in the world, despite the love of her foster family. She missed her parents so much. The villagers thought she was cursed, and her foster parents grew more worried about her by the day. Lerato did, however, love spending time at the farm. She was the first to volunteer for any chore involving the animals. There was a reason for that. They could speak to her, and her to them. They understood each other. Her heart was so pure and loving that the animals felt comfortable speaking to her, and she loved feeling understood by them. Roosters had the funniest stories about humans. Chicks were afraid of everything, and hens were the sweetest beings she had ever encountered. They always had a wonderful time together, even though the other children always watched closely. They noticed every time Lerato laughed out loud at the animals or hugged them. Crazy girl! Coo coo ka choo! They were taunt. Lerato barely noticed. She didn't care what the other children thought of her. Her real friends, the animals, cared for her and her for them. That was all that mattered to dear Lerato. One morning, she heard a scratching noise at her window. The scratching turned to a loud rat a tat tat on the glass. It was a rooster frantically trying to get her attention. <coughs> Lerato, a big storm is coming soon. You should tell your family to harvest or the crops will be ruined. Thank you, dear friend, she communicated to the rooster. Now go find some shelter in the hen house while I prepare the villagers for the storm. Lerato approached her foster parents first. She told them in sign language about the storm, the harvest, and even who had told her about it. Thankfully, Lerato's foster parents had always taken her seriously and believed her. While her foster dad prepared the fields, Lerato and her foster mum tried to warn the villagers. They just laughed at them. <laughs> who told you that? The animals? They ridiculed. Lerato and her family harvested, and when the storm came a few days later, nobody could salvage their crops but them. The villagers regretted not listening. Lerato's family was delighted they did. Sometimes your gifts can seem weird to others. However, if you hold on to them, believe in yourself, and remain a kind child, the gift can become an unexpected blessing.